how I'm here to show you how to do a spark plug replacement on a 2006 Chevrolet HHR. Um, I've already got the air box off because I'm in the process of replacing the coil pack, which I'm making a video on that too. But uh, I figured I'd do a real quick video on how to replace the spark plug. That way you wouldn't have to watch the whole video about the coil pack and all that. Usually there's an air box up here. Your air box pops off. Um, there's no bolts holding your air box on. Uh, except for um, there's a hose clamp on your air box. And uh, so you'll need to take the hose clamps off for your air box. Um, once you got your air box off, that this bolt right here use a 10 millimeter socket to take this bolt off and just pull the plug um the coil pack up and the spark plug will be right there underneath the coil pack now my extension is overkill because all of my extensions are at work you want to loosen up the spark plug hold on all right, so now you got the spark plug loose where you're standing there with a pair of needle nose. Pull the spark plug out. And let's see. Yeah. Man, it's looking pretty rough. So, that's what I had on there before. Fusions. I didn't even show you. Bosch Fusions. Uh, the new one's going in is an AC Delco and Iridium spark plug. There it is right here. And <clears throat> what you want to do is line it up. What you want to do is line it up, uh, drop it down in the hole, get it lined up. Make sure you do not cross thread it. Make sure it's going in the hole by itself. If you feel like you're forcing it to turn, stop and back it up and try it again. If any time you feel like you're forcing it, you're causing damage. All right. It's in there is straight so now I will tighten it up take my oversized ratchet extension and extension and we'll snug them up we'll snug socket out and that is done put your coil pack back on it put your air box back on it and you're good to go